there you are. We've been looking everywhere. Kevin said he hasn't heard from you all night. Yes, I've been sitting in my office, wallowing in my hopelessness, and eating the saddest food known to mankind. Ice cream. Oh, my God, he's Bridget Jones. Hey? Okay, well, it's time to put that aside and pull out whatever food you eat when you're happy. Dry beans? Sure. Look, we can still stop John Kelly. All we need is some hard evidence. Oh, he won't let us anywhere near him or one police plaza. I know, which is why I've assembled a team of powerful allies in the NYPD. No, that's too risky. How do you know they're not loyal to John Kelly? Because these people aren't loyal to anybody. Suicide Squad. May I present to you the Suicide Squad. Hang on there, genius. You want us, your enemies, to help you bring down Commissioner Kelly? You guys consider me your enemy? You're some of my best friends. We haven't talked to you in like three years, CJ. Wait, yeah, I'm thinking of different guys. Oh, Raymond. That you came to me to ask for help shows how much you've matured. You know what else shows how much you've matured? Your withered face. Now I know why you refer to this as a Suicide Squad, Peralta, because I already want to kill myself. Why don't you wait a week? You'll probably die of old age. The only way I'm gonna die is if you touch me with one of your bony fingers and drag me across the river Styx, you reaper. Ah, why Wonderful, very creative. Look, John Kelly has to be stopped. He's spying on civilians. It's unconstitutional and it's wrong. Please, do you think any one of these jackals cares about what's right or wrong? I'll help. See, sir, there is good in every person. But I want it to be known as for selfish reasons. Why would you want that to be known? Because well, I never met CJ before, and I want him to think that I'm cool. It's working. I mean, I love how you're taking over the room. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. You know, I actually wouldn't mind getting rid of John Kelly either. That guy makes up so many dumb rules. He told me I couldn't eat raw chicken. And you think a new commissioner will Yeah, have... he's already on board, so yes, a new commissioner would let you eat raw chicken for whatever reason. It's healthier. It sure is, Siege. And what do you hope to get out of this, Madeline? Let me guess. Revenge on Dorothy for killing your sister. I want the same as you, Raymond. I think what John Kelly is doing is terrible. Yeah. Yes, well said, Wunch. So we're all on board. This is exciting. Let's bring it in, huh? Suicide Squad on three. Ready? One, two. I don't touch other dudes' hands. This hand is sticky. Oh, that might be me. I ate a popsicle earlier. It's probably Madeline. Cockroaches release a mucus like secretion. You would know about roaches, you roach. And three, Suicide Squad! So, this apartment will be our base for the duration of the mission. Thank you to the Vulture for procuring it. And don't thank me. Thank my boy Billy. He said the place is mine while he's still in prison. Huh? That's not what it sounds like. His only crime was planning a kick ass music festival. Are you friends with the Fire Festival guy? Best friends. He got a bum rap. You can learn about it when my documentary comes out. It points all the blame where it clearly belongs songs with the island people. Wow, so many levels of terrible there. All right, we need to catch Kelly in the act of illegally spying, so here's the plan. We commit a fake crime so serious that he's forced to deploy the stingray. What kind of crime? We're gonna kidnap a cop, but not just any cop. It needs to be someone so high-ranking that it sends shockwaves through the system, but not important enough that their absence negatively impacts the NYPD in any way. What are you guys thinking? We're clearly all looking at you. Oh God, am I in charge of the meeting? Dismissed, dismissed. No, you're getting kidnapped, CJ. Oh. Amy, Charles, and I will be the kidnappers. Captain Holt is the driver. Here's how it'll go down. Approaching the target. All right, let's do this. Masks on. Actually, scratch that. We're not gonna use ski masks. We'll use cool rubber masks. Ooh, we should be the ladies of the First Wives Club. I call Keaton. We're not gonna do First Wives Club masks. Just because you can't be Keaton? Grow up, Jake. No, because they don't exist. And also, yeah, Keaton is clearly the coolest one, and I don't think it's really fair that you just called her. But forget it, we'll wear scary gorilla masks. Approaching the target. Okay, let's do this. Masks on. When CJ goes to get his morning coffee, we will arrive and grab him. He will pretend to struggle just enough to attract attention. Help! Help! I'm gonna write this down so I remember my lines. I can see that you already have the word milk written on your hand. I know where this is going. Milk! Milk! Don't do that. Too risky. What if you leave DNA evidence at the scene? Well, luckily, it's a missing persons case, so the lead detective will be the vulture. He will arrive and- No, 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 hold on, Peralta. You forgot to say that I ride in on my motorcycle. Okay, the vulture, who rode in on his motorcycle- Colby. Will take charge and eliminate any evidence we left behind. There's nothing here. Make sure the other people working with you are your worst detectives. I got just the guys for you. I mean, they're real duds. I wouldn't even trust those two to get coffee from me. Gerard, tell them where we're at. Brooklyn. You know, you guys take off, all right? I got this. Right. Hey, you, come here. You want to tell me what you saw? I'll tell you what I'd like to see. You're big. Stop. I'm the one describing the plan. Well, so it's not going to be any sex at all? No. The point is, without any good leads, Kelly will give the order to use the stingray, an order that we will record thanks to our very own Madeline Wunsch. Not possible. Kelly won't tell me anything. He won't even meet with me. Perhaps you can sneak in disguised as an old leather chair. Will you calm down? She works at One Police Plaza. All you have to do is run into him. Commissioner Kelly! No, oh, Madeline, I didn't see you there. I thought you were an old leather chair. He's not going to say that. He might. You're worse than the vulture. Anyways, give him a handshake, a pat on the back. I heard your app caught a serial killer. 
<laughs> Hot clues, strikes again. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> and plant the bug. And that's the plan. That is exactly how tomorrow's gonna go. Got it. So you do or you don't want me to yell milk? Approaching the target. OK, let's do this. Masks on. How are we getting rubber masks? Yeah, I couldn't find any. It's not Halloween. These look like they're from Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, I got them from a sex shop, Amy, and we're lucky to have them. There were only three left. At least you're not wearing a gift mask. Look, there weren't a lot of options. It was a very awkward retail interaction. Can we please just kidnap CJ now? Ah! Ah! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! What the? Ah! You never get me alive! Help! Help! Somebody call the police! Oh, here, take her! Take her! Instead of me! Oh, no, don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Oh, it's you! Yeah, it's us! No, get in the van! Oh, okay! Oh! Hey, could we stop and get a slushie? Call me! Ow! Captain Pembroke, what do you have there? Do you find a hair? Nice work. Let's bag it. Let's get it to the lab. They have my hair? I thought you put your two worst guys on this. These are my worst guys, all right? They're real dorks. They both wear glasses. One of them's even a woman. Ugh, you said you didn't trust them to get coffee. Look, if you can't tell what coffee is code for by now, then you and I shouldn't be talking about this, Jake. Oh, my god. He put his best detectives on the case. Hey, my two best detectives are Stinky and Boner, and they definitely know how to order coffee. Extra cream. Wink, wink. Guys, stop fighting. We did it. Let's just chill and play some Madden. No one's playing Madden with you, CJ. <sighs> you know, Peralta, this is all your fault. A witness saw your face, and now there's a police sketch of you being sent around. Oh, please, that doesn't even look like me. The only thing they got right is my little curl, and I can just get rid of that. Jake, you can't. You're right. It's worth the risk to keep it. Oh, man, I can't believe this wild ride's over. We've changed so much. You know, when we started out, we were just Charles the Jock, Amy the Rebel, Captain Silly Pants, Talkie Talkie Rosa, Terry the Stoner, and CJ the Ringleader. I'm not sure you're nailing these. OK. I smooth things over with Madeline, and she's agreed to rejoin the Suicide Squad. Oh, goody gum drops, but do we even need her? What does she bring to the table? 30 years of police experience. I have 33. I earned a police combat cross. I have a Medal of Honor. I own the record for most arrests as a uniformed officer in NYPD history. You got me there. Of course, I never spent much time in uniform because I was promoted to detective after one month. They're not allowed to do that. It's against the rules. It's also against the rules to let a pile of worms wear a uniform, and yet, here you stand. If we ratchet up the pressure on him, we might get another chance. How do we ratchet up pressure more than we already have? By making him believe that the kidnappers are serious and that CJ is in real danger. Ooh, what if we send Kelly a severed finger in a box? No way! I need all my fingers. How else am I gonna do the hang-tang sign? Nobody's cutting off your fingers! Oh.